Hey, welcome to a quick tutorial. Uh, this is going to be on uh, adding the adjustable mirror facet to your dash screen. You may want to do this if you are looking to look at yourself without street, uh, spawning a mirror or spawning a uh, camera in the world. Let's get going. I'll go over here into smooth POV. First thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to enable uh, UI edit mode. Uh, this can be done using a uh, controller combination gesture, but I also recommend using a facet button for that. If you're interested in installing that, there's a facet overview video, which is linked in the video description, but we're doing it using the shortcut today to keep things nice and simple. So this varies based on controllers for um, Index and Oculus, uh, hold one of the dedicated user space buttons um, for Index or Oculus that's usually A. Uh, it's the button that opens up the dash like this. Um, and then double tap the other. And for Vive or Windows Mixed Reality, hold down both menu buttons uh, at the same time until the circles fill. So I'm going to do, actually I've got it on, I'm going to do for the uh, Index one because I have Index. So I'm going to hold down the uh, left A button on my Index controller and I'm going to double tap the right A button on two. UI edit mode is on. Now I'm going to go to the inventory and I'm going to go to the root of my inventory and I'm going to go to Neos Essentials, Facets, and then I'm going to go to the bottom corner where there's this adjustable mirror facet. I'm going to hit this pink icon up here, which will spawn the adjustable mirror. I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to drop that in up here. My home screen is a little bit more customized. There's a little stuff here, so um, you might uh, it might look different, but you could drop this wherever you'd like, just drop it. If you want to change the size of it, you can uh, do that by, uh, you'll see the little green square that's inside the larger green square, and you can just drag that green square using primary to make it how big you want. I'd recommend a sort of 16-9 or landscape -y approach that looks like a normal sort of video, um, and you're done. You can then go ahead and turn off edit mode down here, and it will be on your facets, uh, on your home screen as a facet forever, and that allows you to do it. That's it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.